Good morning. It's Monday, November 20th, about 6 a.m. Central Time. Overnight, the precious metals are mixed. You've got December gold down $9, 1975. December silver down 35 cents, 2349. December copper up two at 376. And January platinum up three at 9.05. So I'm really disappointed in the precious metals overnight. The dollar index has hit its lowest level since August. Perhaps the markets are waiting for tomorrow's FOMC minutes release where they'll give some of the details of the last meeting where they left rates unchanged. Hopefully we have some dissenters coming in and more people are in favor of leaving rates alone at this moment to see what happens in the in the markets. So looking at the CME Fed watch tool, there's a 30% chance that the federal cut rates at the March meeting. So that might be the tide that turns in this market and starts to bring precious metals to higher levels. Now looking at the current trends in the market, looking at gold, it is still bullish. It's been bullish since that massive breakout that we saw back in October, about October 15th was really when the thrust went up and then we continued from there. But since then, we failed to make new highs at the 2020 level. We dipped back down to the 50-day moving average around 1941. That's still your key level of support right now. Looking at the resistance points, we've come back below the 200-day moving average. We'll see if that acts as a headwind going forward. So your key levels of resistance, the 200-day moving average, 1981.40. 2000 and then obviously 2020 looking at silver unfortunately silver is trading in that same similar chart pattern of the gold market right now we pushed up back over 24 dollars and since then we've settled back today failing at the 200 day moving average so 2378 that's going to be your key level of resistance now rather than support and your key level of support is going to be 23 dollars and 2286 which is the 50-day moving average. Below that, your trend reversal point, 2240. Don't want to see a trade below there. Now, looking at the outside markets, you got crude oil. After that massive sell-off last week, huge reversal Friday, and then also some follow-through support today, up another dollar, uh, dollar thirty at 77.35. Dollar index again down 30 basis points, and then also looking at your 10-year note here, up four at. 484. So the other outside markets are mixed. You've got the uh, the equity markets slightly higher. It is a bit of a quieter week here today. We don't have a lot of economic data releases coming out. Perhaps uh, on Wednesday, you've got durable goods, got some EIA data. But other than that, it's a shortened week with Thanksgiving and it's a shortened session on Friday. So I'll be traveling back to Chicago. going to be working in the Chicago office here the remainder of the week. So I'll try and get these videos out to you guys uh, just as normal. So you got any questions, give me a call. 312-858-7303. Remember, futures, option, trading, balls, risk, or loss may not be suitable to all investors. Good luck. Good trading.